Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over the short squeeze that we saw last night on Bitcoin to give us this rise in price and now how this is likely to trade out over the next few days. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this video ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to be going straight into the action covering the volatility that we have absolutely came to love here on the Bitcoin chart. So welcome to Bitcoin if you are not used to this extreme volatility <laughs> and welcome back to everybody that absolutely he loves trading it with me. So firstly, let's go over this rise in price. As we all know, Bitcoin loves swing failure patterns, okay? So think back just, just not very long ago, okay? So back to the third when we formed our double bottom. Then we obviously swing failure that on the 13th to give us this rise in price. What happened again here? Last night, we swing failure pattern the low to then give you another rise in price up to the yearly open, which I'm going to cover in a, you know, in a few minutes. So you're at the yearly open resistance, but nevertheless, swing failure pattern of the low, increase in price. So how can we tell that this was, you know, fueled massively by a short squeeze? OK, so upon losing that low to give you the potential swing failure, you saw a lot of shorts opening. So a lot of shorts opening and a lot of longs closing. OK, so at this moment in time, it's not necessarily bullish by any stretch of the imagination. It's not until you reclaim the level. But nevertheless, you've got to know like when a level has been lost. OK, so you, just as equally important as to know when a level is claimed to expect continuation, you've got to know when a level is lost to expect downside continuation as well. And for me, uh, you know, as I've been banging on, this 6,600 support, in my opinion, is massive. It's a really, really big and important support level. Um, so what I was, you know, wanted to see if I was going to claim that level as lost and expect further downside, where well, I would have been looking to around 6,250, I wanted to see a four hour close below that level before I would say, you know, this level is now lost and it's resistance. And what actually happened was pretty, really, actually really nice indeed, that on this four hour chart, you can see that you go through the level. You never lose this level because you close back above it. OK, so this level was never lost. It just it just basically gave you the opportunity for a massive short squeeze because people were envisioning that continuation to happen. OK, you get those short, you know, you get longs closing, you get shorts opening. And then obviously you get that really big increase in price with a decrease in open interest. And, you know, shorts get fully squeezed, as you can see on the decrease, just fully squeezed and give you a very, you know, healthy, you know, rise in price, to be honest. So really, really nice indeed how that occurred. Uh, obviously fueled very much so off of that swing failure pattern. And all I would say, you know, what, what you have to bear in mind on this is while you're below the price, this is like knife catching and arguably like not a good long. OK, I would say it's not a good long while you're below that price. But, you know, when you get that close above. OK, so you just come down to like here when you get when you actually get back above that price and you start making this bullish market structure. Well, that's clearly now a really good long position because of the fact you have a clear invalidation and, you know, short squeezes, you know, time and time again happen relatively quick on the Bitcoin chart. OK, um, so, yeah, I was actually asleep during this, so I did not participate in this because this was happening for me at like 2 a.m. So I was it just had just gone to bed, funnily enough. But yeah. That was obviously a really, really quick increase in price and, you know, really highlighted by that four hour close. OK, the way that you went through it back above and also really funny the way that it happened one minute after the daily close. OK, so you can see here that we got that drop in price uh, literally one one minute past 12. OK. So, yeah, that was that was uh, pretty funny how that happened in my, for me anyway. Uh, <laughs> so congratulations to them who, you know, pushed it down at one minute after that close. It was just absolutely brilliant in my opinion uh so, so yeah you can see that obviously fuels you up in price to where we are now as i said earlier we are sat at resistance right now and that is the yearly open okay so you got the yearly open coming in here at 7163 we topped out at 7160 so a three dollar front run of the yearly open so that is our current really big resistance as we can see here on bitcoin it has a habit of moving up and decreasing all of the pump okay moving up it you know it retraced all of that move you know all of that move increase retrace all that move so we do have the potential again of a lower high lower high lower high lower high lower high another lower high and decrease everything here and for me the line in the sand is this yearly open okay so you want to claim you know bulls are really going to want to claim this yearly open 7163 a massive support level at the moment if you can get above that level yeah look towards 7350 then all the way you know claim that and you're, you're looking at back up at the highs then obviously around you know even up to like 7800 i believe could come fairly swiftly but it's kind of like level to level, level to level. 
So, you know, e.g., like, what's really important is know when a level's claimed and lost. And also, you know, as Mike was mentioning yesterday, what you always want to do is, you know, take profits. Okay, so if you're in a, you know, if you're in a short from, like, higher levels, when you're coming down to here, make sure you're taking profits. The same as if you longed after the swing failure pattern, these are really sensible levels to take profits. OK, so it's really important to to be doing that, honestly. Um, and then on top of that, you know, you, you cannot really be looking at, you know, you, there's no point looking towards like 7,800 while you're below 7,163, for example. So it's like level to level trading uh, well, on top of taking profits is a really good way to trade, obviously. <laughs> um, so, yeah, those are the like that's the key level I'm looking at here. I'm looking at 7,163 as the key resistance for me and then around 6,900 as, as a support right now. Uh, obviously, if we come down and start losing support, it's pretty likely that we're going to retrace all of this move again. Uh, and, you know, if we get back above the yearly open, then, yeah, th this thing can can really start to fly as if it cla if it claims this section's point of control anyway. Um, so, yeah, it was it, it's, it's really, if I'm honest, quite a quick technical analysis that I can give you all here, uh, you know, explaining to you why you got this increase in price. Really big short squeeze. Uh, and then on top of that, the really big resistance that you got above now that bulls are going to want to claim for that continuation. Seven, one, six, three yearly open. OK, and then the, the characteristics that we have seen of decreasing, you know, all the moves up in this. It is a lower high at this point. OK, so we are getting another lower high potentially. Um, so you might want to wait, you know, obviously this is a nice channel that I've been looking at recently. So this was a channel that I had back on here. OK, these are a few like little, little different patterns and stuff. There's like Elliott wave counts and stuff that I've been posting. But um, yeah, this is the same channel. And you can see here on the four hour chart how you actually went from that lows up to the highs, up to the sorry, up to the highs again here, lows to around the midpoint. And yesterday on that drop, you actually hit really perfectly the low of that channel again. It looks a bit easier on the one one hour chart. So you can see here from the high to the low to the high to the lows to around, you know, hovering around this midpoint or maybe putting in a lower high here before when you come down and touch that low, it was again like really, really close to, you know, actually the low of the channel for yeah you know coming up to the yearly open here so i think you've got a few really key support and resistances that are really easily defined uh obviously ethereum really strong as well last night so it moved up slightly after bitcoin so you had that bitcoin move up and then shortly after ethereum followed so that's back up at its daily level now so that was more like increase in price flag going for this next increase in price so you know ethereum is at daily support now <laughs> so um yeah, I, I myself would be cautious opening longs up here, just as you know, just as I would not open a short down here because I I don't short supports. <laughs> I'm not going to be, um, you know, try, trying to long up here, you know, longing into resistances. This is like areas where you look for longs. These are areas where you look for shorts. You know, you you have to like take these resistances and supports and, and like really respect <laughs> the the levels, uh, because otherwise you, you you can get burned really easily. So you can see we are still you know pulling back here off of this you know, rejection from the yearly open. So I'd want to see that claimed, okay? And I'd want to see, like, key supports lost. Um, and at the moment, I am, you know, uh, well, I'm actually pretty keen to go and trade this at the moment. I'm not in a position. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, look at this. I kind of want to go and trade this, if I'm honest. So I hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed this video. I've given you the key levels and uh, why we are pulling back. Yes, I am very keen to go and trade this. Hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed this video. Thank you, everybody. And, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers and goodbye. <laughs>